Uh, welcome, everybody. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for coming today. Uh, this was sold out, apparently, which is amazing. So I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for showing up. It means a lot to me. And thank you to Niagara College for having me. Uh, I love public speaking. I love imparting my knowledge upon people. I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, I, there's nothing better than, you know, kind of sharing my thoughts on the world of social media and on YouTube. And I'm glad that I'm here. So anyway, thank you guys so much for this opportunity. Um, so a little bit about me. I just Some of you might be familiar with me. Uh, don't be afraid. How many people don't know who I am? It's okay if you don't. That's honestly okay. Please. Okay, that's great. No, I like that. I like that. Um, so subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get to 5 million by the end of the year. But uh, also add me to Snapchat if you get the opportunity. You just hold it up and snap it. Uh, you're all going to be on it, by the way, at the end. I'm going to do a little Snapchat action. But... Anyway, uh, so my name is Matthew Santoro. Uh, I make what I call infotainment videos. Uh, that's what you see up there. Uh, infotainment is a word that I use to basically describe educational videos with a twist of comedy. Um, when I first started making videos about five and a half years ago, which seems like an eternity now, uh, I started making comedy sketches, but I had always done list videos. And I started noticing that my list videos were getting a lot more views than my comedy sketches, which I still to this day think were just fantastic. But for some reason, uh, nobody really liked them as much as the list videos. So I started noticing, I started thinking, what if I did list videos exclusively? So I started doing that. And that's when everything changed. I went from uh, 15,000 subscribers at the end of 2015 to, or sorry, uh, sorry, at the end of 2013. So I began the year with about 15,000, and at the end of 2014, at the end of that year, I had 3.5 million. Uh, so it was quite the growth uh, in one year. Uh, for three months, I was right behind PewDiePie. I was getting about 25,000 subscribers a day, which is nuts. You guys know who PewDiePie is? The most subscribed? Yeah, of course. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, that's, that's a little bit about me, and then, um, this year has also been a good year for me. I'm coming up on 5 million. Uh, according to VidStats, which is a stat statistic website for YouTube, I should hit 5 million by the end of the year. Really stoked about that. That's a really big milestone that I'm proud of. Um, and I will tell you guys about how I got there and things like that. But just a little bit about what I do. I have four different series on my channel. Um, one is called 50 Amazing Facts. That one. Uh, and what this is with the goofy thumbnails uh, that all look the same. Uh, that is a series where I take interesting facts from the internet and I share them with you in a list format of just 50 rapid fire facts. Uh, for example, I don't know, I, I've done hundreds and, or thousands actually, but um, one for example would be like, how many people have ever used the word bae? Like, oh, that's my bae, like boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah, you guys know bae, come on. Of course you do. Well, anyway, bae is the Danish word for poop. So <laughs> next time you call your boyfriend or girlfriend that, remember that. Uh, I have a series called, uh, just, just a top 10 series that's not named, but this is where the playlist where I put all my top 10 uh, videos. That's my good friend Rob Dyke, and yeah, been doing that. That's my oldest series. That's what I've been doing the longest. I just started these two. These are called Myths You Still Believe. Uh, this series is all about debunking the most common myths. Uh, so essentially what I've been doing on my YouTube channel up until now is telling you new information, but what this series aims to do is re-educate you on things that you thought were fact but are actually myth. So for example, if I said to you, what color is the sun? What would you say, yellow, orange, a fiery hue? Well, actually the sun is white, and the only reason it looks the fiery hue is because of the way that light reflects off our atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. Watch the video, it makes more sense. But <laughs> Uh, <laughs> very scientific explanation, I know. Um, and then the other one is Facts in Five, where I teach you all about one topic in five minutes or less, uh, which is just kind of like a bite-sized uh, version if you want to learn about something. And then these are all my extra videos. So, um, but what else, what else? Five, uh, currently, uh, why isn't it popping up here? Okay, so currently I have about 560 million views on my YouTube channel uh, and growing by about 25 to 30 million views a month. Uh, I have, like I said, almost 5 million subscribers. I'm the fifth biggest YouTube channel in Canada, uh, right behind my good friend Harley Morenstein from Epic Mealtime. He's number four. Uh, right behind my other good friend, Superwoman, which is Lily. She's number three. Uh, so we all kind of know each other. It's kind of a uh, close-knit community. Uh, what else? I have a book coming out, uh, just to give you an idea of what else I'm doing other than YouTube. I have a book coming out at the end of 20... Hey, you're welcome to my channel. <laughs> no one asked you to talk. Um, <laughs> 
at the end of 2016, I have a book coming out called Mind Equals Blown, which is based off my 50 Amazing Facts series, where I basically take, it's kind of like a mixture of an autobiography, and uh, so a little bit about my life, as well as giving you facts. So that's coming out uh, by Penguin Books. I just got back from South Africa, where I'm going to be in the next and final Resident Evil movie. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to be a zombie, so it's going to be cool. Uh, which was a lot of fun, a huge learning experience. Uh, man, traveling for 20 hours there was a nightmare, but it was great. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, there was something, yeah, I talked to Mila Jovis. She was pretty cool, but anyway, these are just to give you an idea of the type of things that, the opportunities that YouTube has brought me since I've been doing this. Um, I'm also good, uh, very close with uh, the Global Citizen Festival. How many people know Global Citizen is? Oh boy, okay. Okay, well, uh, Global Citizen is uh, a very important organization that aims to eliminate poverty by the year 2030. It's a massive organization. Uh, you might have seen the clip that was trending on Facebook. Uh, Ed Sheeran and Beyonce did a little concert together. Did anyone see that trending on Facebook? That was at the Global Citizen Festival. Um, that was a really cool little surprise, but I was backstage. I met a ton of cool celebrities. Uh, I've worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've worked with a lot of... Uh, Fairly big celebrities, and this is just to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that I've done on YouTube. My backstory, I gotta speed this up because we only have an hour, sorry. Let's get excited. Um, uh, my backstory, I'll try to make, keep this brief. Uh, I went to Brock University, got my Master of Accountancy degree, did that for two years, got laid off uh, because of the economy and other factors. Uh, myself and 30% of the people, I, file preparers that I worked for, I worked for a small firm, got laid off. For a year, I was pretty lost in my life actually. I had been, uh, up until that point, I had been doing YouTube videos on every Saturday as a way to sort of keep myself sane uh, because I was doing accounting through the week and then that would be my creative outlet. And when I got laid off, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go all in on this thing because I got my master's degree and I thought, man, like how could it be that with a master's degree I could get laid off? So I decided I was gonna work for myself and I started doing shooting weddings, uh, tried acting a little bit. I was on the show Rookie Blue a couple times. And eventually, at the end of 2013, my channel just blew up uh, and I started getting a lot of attention for whatever reason. And um, here I am today. Uh, I'm sure I skipped a lot of important things, but in the interest of time, that's just kind of the Coles Notes version. Um, so anyway, I just want to show you guys a little bit about uh, what I do. I'll just show a little bit uh, just for the sake of brevity. Um, hmm, that's a good one. Oh, I probably should have prepared this, huh? Okay, let's go with this one. Oh. Don't you hate those damn ads on YouTube? Um, this is a good example, actually, and I'm going to get to this, but this is how I make my living. What you're looking at right now is how I make my living. Uh, that ad being played is uh, money that goes uh, from the advertiser to Google or YouTube. Google owns YouTube. And uh, I get paid at the end of the month from all the ads that are shown across the millions of views that I get. So I'm actually glad that popped up. If you're wondering what the hell that was, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, uh, I, for, for, I, I just one day decided to be goofy during this series and say, uh, you know, I just called myself the knowledge whale and went, oh, and, and ever since then it just kind of stuck and now it's the knowledge whale that presents this to you. I don't know. To blow your mind, a multimillionaire named Forrest Fenn has hidden a treasure down between $1 to $3 million in the Rocky Mountains. And in order to find it, you must solve his riddle. So far, no one has done it or found the treasure. The director of the 1980 horror film, Cannibal Holocaust, had to prove in court that the actors were still alive and didn't get killed during the movie. There was a 10-year-old girl named Esther Akkad who is already enrolled in university and has the highest exam scores in her class. She mastered algebra at the age of four. So anyway, yeah, kind of, right? That was the reaction I'm looking for. Just, this is the idea of this series, uh, which is just to show you stuff that is just mind-blowing. Like, you know how people share little things on Facebook? Well, I try to condense that into a YouTube video, and people really like it. So uh, that's a little bit about what I do. Uh, again, just hey, shut, shut your mouth. Um, so for the sake of uh, brevity, I'm not going to show you all my series, but feel free to check that out at your leisure. It's just youtube.com slash Matthew Santoro.